Okay, this is video number two for chapter six in the Comprehensive Excel textbook. I'm on page 360 and 361. The instructions are on page 361. I want to scroll to display cell L1. So here is L1. And I want to change the width of L and M to 12. So I'm going to scroll over a little bit here and select both of them, do them both at once. And this time I'm going to right click and do column width and just type in the number 12. Okay. Uh, click on e or L1 and type standing table and hit enter. And apply the title style and make it bold. So let's go to our cell styles here. Click on the more button and let's do title. And then let's go to our font group over here and let's make it bold. Okay. Uh, drag through to select the range from L1 to M1 and then merge and center. So select both of those and go to our alignment group here. Click on merge and center. And now that's one cell and it's centered over the two columns. In cell L2, type over slash under quota. And in M2, we want the word standing. Select cell J8, which is right here. And we want to use the format painter. And then we want to paint these two cells right here so they look the same as the standing column did and we want to wrap the text in uh, L2 I've got them both selected it's not going to make a difference here so uh, click on the wrap text button up here and enter the table data as shown in figure 619 so uh, the table data is zero uh, percent a hundred percent and hundred twenty five percent and up here uh, bronze silver and gold okay so that's going to be a lookup table and center the range l3 to m5 so that would be this area right here and i want to center that and now it should match the figure 619 on the bottom of page 361 and it says click outside the range to deselect it okay now we're going to use the v lookup function uh, it's used to look up a value in a table. And I want to go to cell J9. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this number right here. I'm going to find it in the table over here in column L. And when I find uh, a value, I'm going to slide over to the column on the right. Now, if I don't find a value, exactly like 75 percent does not uh, show up here I go until I find the first number that's greater than it then I back up one and then I go across so 75 percent is going to go to 100 back up one and it's going to retrieve bronze 111 percent is going to go to the 125 back up one and go across and choose silver so uh, I want to use the V lookup formula and I'm going to do this the easy way, I think. I'm going to go to the Formulas tab and choose Lookup and Reference and click V Lookup down here at the bottom. And the value that I want to look up is right here. And the table array is this table right here. Uh, you do not include the headings when you do a table array like that for a lookup. And the column is where I want to retrieve this from. Uh, the over under is column one, standing is column two. I want to retrieve it from column two of the table. I want one of these words to be returned. And now, when I copy this formula down the page, uh, this table array is not moving. So I don't want this to be adjusted as a relative cell reference. So I need to put the dollar signs in up there. And so it should be dollar sign L, dollar sign three, dollar sign M, dollar sign five and now I've got the right formula there. It tells me what the value is going to be for this particular one. If it's 75 percent I'm going to return bronze. Click on OK and it fills everything in all the way down the column for us. Okay and if we look at number two at the bottom of page 362 here it just says to scroll up a little bit so that row seven is at the top again and now our lookup table is not visible and our 
a worksheet should look a lot like the one on the top of page 363. Okay, now we're going to do some conditional formatting. The explanation is on page 363 and the instructions are on page 364. We want to select the data in column I from I9 all the way down to I21 down here at the bottom. And we're going to do some conditional formatting here. which is on the home tab and click on conditional formatting here and uh, we want to choose new rule and then we want to click on the format style here and we're going to choose icon sets and we've got some icon styles to choose from here and we're looking for the three flags so let's scroll down here and I missed the three flags let's go back up and try that again there they are. Okay, and what we want to do here is um, tap or click the first uh, type arrow, and that would be this one, and choose number and we want this when the number is greater than or equal to 1.25 or 125 percent we want a yellow flag when the number is greater than or equal to the number one oops let's try that again okay and click on okay when we're done and now you should see if the number is under a hundred percent if it basically if it's bronze um, we're gonna see a red flag here and if it is uh, silver we're gonna see a yellow flag and if it is uh, gold we're gonna see a green flag okay that takes care of page 365 now let's turn to page 366 we're going to insert a total row at the bottom we need to click in the table and uh, go to the table tools design tab up here and they tell you to play around with some of these check boxes here and you can do that on your own I'm not going to do it in the video and the one we want though is we want the total row and it will put a total row down here at the bottom for us and see it moved our little blue triangle down here and um, says select cell H22 and click on the down arrow next to it and what we want is we want the sum of all of the numbers in that column and we want to go to um, column F and we want the sum in column F and we want to go to the experience column and we want to click on the down arrow and we want the average for that and uh, we want let's go back here and we want to format that using two decimal places so click on the comma button and now everything matches the picture on top of page 367 okay and it says uh, save file so we don't lose our work so click on the save button and it says to print the table and I'm not going to print Uh, if we wanted to print, we would go to the File tab here and choose Print. And one of our options here is uh, just to print the selected table. 
and we're going to get two pages here and you probably want to switch that to landscape yeah they do have you switch it to landscape so let's go to our orientation here and go to landscape and uh, it's still a little bit too big so I think what we would probably do here is we would probably do a little bit of scaling and try to fit all of the columns on one page and now it fits on one page and now it matches what you see on the top of page 368 and if you want to print now you just go ahead and click on the print button but I'm not going to do that and we've been going for over 10 minutes now so that's probably a good place to stop this one and we'll continue with sorting on page 368 in video number three